it's Craig from TC Helicon. Just gonna jump in here really quickly and give you a bit of a rundown on exactly what we're doing with this video. Uh, when we went to NAMM 2013, we announced Voice Live Touch 2 and we brought some with us and we also brought Georgia Murray with us who uh, did our demoing. So she was at the booth uh, over on our little stage area and she was showing off the unit to various people as they came by, you know, gather up a big crowd, do a demo, rinse, repeat for the, uh, the next couple of days. And uh, one of the things that, that she noticed very quickly was that people really wanted to know how she was doing what she was doing. You know, it was all well and good that she made some really cool sounds, but people really wanted to know, you know, kind of what button are you pressing there and, and how are you actually getting this sound out of the unit? Uh, sometimes people thought maybe she was just, you know, singing to a track or something, but yet she was actually creating it all live in front of them. So what she ended up doing was kind of sliding the unit around to the side, kind of sort of standing over the edge and then showing people a bit of what buttons she was pressing during her demo. So when we got back from the show, we thought maybe it would be a good idea to do a quick video with sort of a, a camera shot on the unit itself so that you guys could take a look and see what she did. So the gist of the, this, this video that you're gonna see here is that we've got a shot of, of Georgia who's gonna be you know singing, uh, it kind of takes up maybe uh, that area of the screen. And then we've got a shot of the product that kind of hangs out down here. And then up in the top corner, we've got a little bit of a description of what she's doing. So it could be you know selecting a loop or muting that loop or using the mic control button and then underneath that we have a little description of what components made up the preset so it might say hall reverb plus harmony and it would mean that she had chosen a hall reverb and a harmony it doesn't mean that that preset is called that she's created her own custom presets but I thought we'd give you a quick little insight into what actually makes up that preset so I've been blabbing for a bit here without further ado we will move on to her demo but now you know what you're looking at all right take it easy have fun with this one
I will love you too.